Welcome back to the channel, everyone. And in this video, I am going to go over on how to get out and separate yourself from a saturated cybersecurity area or field. For that being said, give you a perfect example, offensive security, right? Pretty much nowadays, you're seeing everyone and their mama have an OSCP. How do you separate yourself from the pack? And if you go with my other videos, like everything kind of stems in line, and this is going to help you figure out your own path, not using mine or someone else, probably taking some advice because everyone, like I said, has a different background, different skill sets. They come from different upbringings, different educational stuff, cert, whatever. You just have to be able to dial it back. Don't rush in and pick what's best for you to not only get to where you need to build that foundation, but also separate yourself from the pack. So for that being said, Let's get into this video. So, as I was saying, how to separate yourself from the pack from a saturated uh, field or environment for that matter. Now, I'm only going to speak on offensive security. And to a degree, I'm still relatively, relatively new um, in the field. But, you know, I pay attention to detail. I'm a silent observer. I uh, also have a lot of friends, networking. And even though I've been doing it as a hybrid role, I'm still going to use my time being minimal as a full transition into cyber uh, within the almost three years coming up. So I'm not even going to utilize when I was a hybrid role. That being said, what do I mean by this? Uh, number one, again, I'm only speaking on offensive security. Um, seeing since I've started, in that full transition into cyber, not being a hybrid role, you're seeing more and more people get their OSCP. You're seeing more and more people get their PMPT. You're seeing more and more people get their CRTO. Now, how do you break yourself out, separate yourself from everyone else? Um, I would, my personal opinion, and this is what I am going to start to do as well. And again, use this to your advantage because everyone gets motivated. I'm not a fan of motivation. I'm a fan of being driven. Uh, because when you're when you have drive, the days you have so-called quote unquote COVID or the flu, your ass is still up and getting it done. Um, that's just the way it is, right? Motivations or everyone wants to be in shape for the summer and New Year's, and within a month or two they quit the gym. So um, that's pretty much what I'm talking about. And what I mean by that is, you know, in my last video I touched on it. How can you get hired without certs? Well. Separate yourself from the pack by showcasing your skills on YouTube. I myself prefer YouTube over Instagram. Build yourself on YouTube, cut up those clips, and transform that into Instagram. I still have not done that yet. Building yourself on YouTube is going to be more beneficial than Instagram just because of the platform. It's longer. You could actually break it down into playlists and give that actual time and effort, more time and effort and granularity into you know showcasing your skills and also you know teaching people. Right. Not just showcasing your skills is one example. The other example is giving back to the community, managing a discord, Patreon, whatever. That's another way to, to uh, you know, stand out from the pack, not just getting these certs. Right. Because once everyone has these certs, I mean, I, anyone could just go hire pretty much anyone on the street with the OSCP. And that brings in the business aspect is where it's so saturated that it's also going to drive the cost down, right? Meaning your pay, your income is going to go down because everyone has it, right? So that's going to drive down the market where it's it's a higher quantity, more in demand. Uh, you know, you're obviously going to pay pay more, right? So that being said, the other way out of those two, the other way is become an expert in a niche uh, field of offensive security. So that being said, you got your overall pen testing which you could technically break it out into two for web app, internal, external pen testing. Then you got your red teaming. Go granular in that and be niche specific. So OT devices, IOT, uh, I'm sorry, OT, uh, te OT technologies, uh, IOT, also medical devices is really key and, and you know, is hard to find uh, working on a, on a cruise line or, uh, you know, a cruise ship line. I don't know the exact term, <laughs> but those are, I mean, you got people that will push back on your ass from not even, they don't want you to touch that. And they require a person with expertise in that field to pen test those actual medical devices. 
for that matter. So, and that being said, there are only a few out there, so they could control their price in the market. Um, that's what I'm talking about. Also, RFID, NFC, um, you know, certain technologies, even if you're into tap and go badges, physical, you know, physical pen tests, which is my niche, my skill set, because my background, that's how I got my foot in the door to officially transfer in because my niche was physical security, not just from the technology aspect, guards, operations, investigations, and executive protection. So having that background and skill set, that was my niche and my way in. Now, um, that's, you know, obviously not the only one that I want to get into, but that's my way into transition into cyber without having an OSCP, but also now me building on my skills and going into payments, um, biomed, those villages, I learned a lot because that had not only was it interesting to me, but I got a first hand to see, oh, shit, that's a, it's a bigger issue than most people think. And not only that, it's going to help me with my job currently because we have those on the on the ships. Um, also you got car hacking, uh, you got AI being, what I'm saying is get into those niches where it's very specific and they're high in demand right now. AI is really, really hard to find as far as, you know, even I haven't found it yet. If anyone finds it, please put it in a comment, uh, you know, uh, add it in the comments because I want to find some legit practical hands-on training for AI. Um, and I have not yet to find that being an expert in the cloud, um, you know, and, and don't get it twisted. I'm not saying you have to learn all these niches. I'm just saying be an expert in one that's not just here for today, but that's going to be here for tomorrow, meaning there's longevity more than five years out and also have that open mind to being able to transition into the next up and coming technology or the way the landscape shifts. So that's pretty much, uh, you know, what I wanted to say. Because if you look at my videos, the last three ones on certs, you don't need certs, how to break yourself outside of the pack that because certs are being saturated. Not everyone is going to do that. Not everyone's going to showcase their skills on social media. Not everyone's going to be niche specific. A lot of people are, and I see it more and more that they're just going to get that cert. think that's the end all be all and be comfortable. Right now, you have to be driven to break yourself away from the pack. I'm still going to get certs, even though I, I know I don't need them. Um, however, I'm still going to do it because I'd rather do that and get the practical time than fucking off my time at the bar, bullshitting around. I don't watch TV. So, you know, that's just me. I'm not saying you guys have to be like me. The other key thing, too, is networking. you got to network. Having those three aspects into play, being an expert in a niche, showcasing your skills on YouTube, Rumble, etc., and networking. Sky's the limit. Um, and I still need to work on all three of them myself. So that being said, um, that's this quick little video on pretty much how to break out of a saturated market. There's no tips, no tricks, no hack your way into the field. I mean, it's actually getting in there, doing side projects, working at some of these um, local conferences like B-sides, et cetera, um, and, and building your skill set in a specific area or field, right? Again, IOT, car hacking, um, OT, uh, medical devices, stuff like that. That's where you're going to not only be able to drive up your value and your market price, whether you go as an FTE, but also think about it as, you, as if you go on a consultant or have a side gig in offensive security pen testing. Now you could open up your own business. And I'm speaking for America. Uh, you could do it too. I just don't know how your tax code works in other countries or you know, if you even have them, but now you could leverage that, get all the tax write-offs and benefits of having your own LLC or, or S corp or business. Right. So, because the market is very, it's high in demand and there's not that many people and or companies that could do it. So that's one thing you also got to look at too. Right. And then that's also going to build your network and you being able to showcase not your, not only your skills to someone, but you're showcasing your skills to an actual company that you're doing work for your client. So. That being said, that's the video for today. Let me know if you like, or if you agree, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Um, and yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Have a good one, everyone.